So I started building this harness earlier and it's to link my four 3S batteries in series so I can run at 12S or 44.4 volts. The VESC can run at 12S, so let's do it. So now what I'm going to do, I've got four female connectors here so I can plug the batteries in. I put XT60s on all my batteries. And then I'm going to now cut this off and put a male connector on the end of this assembly. Here they are. That is an enormous horsefly. I have my windows open because it's really nice out today. And it's now trying to attack me. Ah. All right, so here we go. I'm not really sure what the best way to do this is. I watched quite a few videos online and it seems most people fill this part down here with solder. There's a better way to do this, let me know. One thing that everyone talks about when they're soldering these connectors is the best way to do it is to leave them plugged together because they get really hot, like that one is currently. I don't know if I'm putting too much heat into it. Um, none of them have actually melted yet or anything, so I assume whatever I'm doing to them is okay. My idea here is just to keep this harness short and then I can either plug the watt meter in in between or just have an extension in between the um, battery pack and the speed controller. So I'm going to cut these off, that's right about here, sounds good. And there we go, four 3S batteries in series. You want to let these cool off a lot more when you're soldering the female side. The male side's got quite a bit of support in there, so you don't have to worry about it as much. But now I can plug my four batteries in, and then I can either plug in the watt meter, or I can put a jumper in and plug straight into the vesk. So there we have it. Finished up another step.